I require and charge you both, as ye will answer at the dreadful day of judgment, when the secrets of all hearts shall be disclosed, that if either you know any impediment why ye may not lawfully be joined together in matrimony, ye do not confess it. For be ye well assured that so many as are coupled together otherwise than God's word doth allow, are not joined together by God, neither is their matrimony lawful. Hold up! I declare an existence of impediment. What does that even mean, mate? It means you're screwed. It is the existence of her previous marriage to Mr. Rochester. He's with another lady. <gasps> that's preposterous. What proof do you have? But that's false. I have heard of a Mrs. Thornfield three months ago, and I have witness to the fact that she does indeed exist. It's true, I saw her in Thornfield in April. She's my sister. Indeed, I do have a wife. You may not have heard of a wife, but a mad woman living in my house. That is Bertha Mason, my wife whom I was cheated into marrying. She comes from generations of mad people. Come, gentlemen, it is time for you to meet my wife. I still can't believe you have another wife. Good morning, Miss Poole. How are things? Uh, very tolerable today, sir. Well, it appears that she has seen you. You should probably leave by now. Allow me a few moments. Well, a bit is your decision, I guess. Godspeed, Mr. Rochester. Bertha? This is my wife, and this is what I want in a woman. I wanted a break from all the crazy. All right, well, Miss Eyre, you are clear of any and all blame in this current situation, um, and I'm sure your uncle, John, will be happy to know that. My uncle John? Where, 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 where is he now? Where, where's you know, my uncle John? Oh, John Eyre? Well, he re currently resides in. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> this is so sad. <laughs>